Welcome to the course, Python for Trading. In this course, we will learn the basics of Python, and code simple strategies, using the same. We will cover the concepts, such as objects, names, namespaces, containers, data structures and trading libraries available in Python. This course also includes interactive exercises, which will give you hands-on experience with coding strategies in Python. Let us first understand why do we need programming? Our capabilities can be massively augmented by machines. Programming a set of instructions is a way of telling machines what to do in an efficient way. With the advent of technology, most fields have become heavily dependent on machines and automated processes, and it is only a matter of time before these algos completely take over every possible manual job. In our context, it is already replacing manual trading with algorithmic trading. Programming not only makes processes fast and efficient, but also scalable. Algorithmic trading is using defined set of instructions and advanced mathematical concepts in the form of an algorithm to generate trading signals and place orders. Real-time data is fed automatically into the automated systems with minimal lag time. It is then analyzed to generate trading signals and finally execute the orders automatically, to achieve the best possible price and maximum fills. There are several advantages of trading algorithmically. Automated systems provide low latency, as they can perform computations and place orders much faster. They are designed to react to changing situations and complete computations in microseconds, which is much faster than a manual trader. Algorithmic trading can help remove the constant manual market monitoring needed for trading. It also helps in separating emotions like fear and greed from trading, which might affect a human trader's judgment. Another advantage is that you can perform a historical simulation, which is a backtest of your strategy for over several years of past data and over different data sets, to get a high-level picture of your strategy's performance in a much shorter time span. All the above mentioned factors actually give you an edge over manual traders in the market. Now, let us understand why we have chosen Python over other available programming languages. Python is a free, open source, and cross-platform language, which has a rich library for almost every task imaginable and a specialized research environment. Python is very easy to learn. It is almost like reading English language and provides simple and efficient handling of data structures. It is an excellent choice for automated trading when the trading frequency is low to medium, and for trades which do not last less than a few seconds. It has multiple APIs and libraries that can be linked to make it optimal, cheaper, and allow greater exploratory development of multiple trade ideas. However, there are a couple of things you need to know about Python, which can affect its efficiency. In Python, every variable is treated as an object, which means Python's variables are almost three times the size of their counterparts from other languages like C. If you are storing millions of values from large datasets and not managing memory carefully, it will lead to slow execution. Even though the availability of multiple third-party libraries and packages makes tasks easier, it might also slow down the processes. So you have to be careful while using third-party packages, and efficiently manage memory to take full advantage of what Python as a complete package has to offer. However, all said, Python is one of the best programming languages for coding intraday trading strategies on the time scale of minutes and above. Let us also look at the other available options. First on the list is C++, which provides ultimate execution speed and offers efficient memory management, but can lead to subtle bugs and can be relatively difficult to pick up. Next on the list are C Sharp and Java. They are good choices for backtesting as they have native GUI capabilities and several numerical analysis libraries. Next we have MATLAB and R, which are excellent for advanced statistical analysis. R is free, open source, and cross-platform, but lacks execution speed, unless operations are vectorized. MATLAB on the other hand boasts execution speed, but is still less appealing to retail traders due to license and costs. Based on the pros and cons of different languages, and ease of learning we can safely say that Python is one of the options to get started with algorithmic trading.
If you are absolutely new to programming, you might not have been able to catch up on some of the terminology used in this segment. Don't worry, as we will start learning Python from scratch, and cover concepts from the very basics in the coming units. Good luck!